Welcome back to Golden Blue Dude, home of at least one college football video every single day. Don't forget about my Patreon page, Core Prediction Contest. Blue membership gives you one guest prediction per week. Gold membership gives you two guest predictions per week. And championship membership gives you four guest predictions per week. I'm still figuring out the winner of week seven. That's how close it is. But I promise, as soon as I have it down, I will announce it. I just don't want to get it wrong. No marquee matchups on the card this week. The score prediction game for this week is going to be Clemson at number 23 Pitt. And the tiebreaker is going to be number 23. In Oregon at UCLA. So go join my Patreon page for your chance of winning $20 every single week. And you can win as many times as you want. What a crazy college football season 2021 has been. Week to week upsets, crazy games. But now after looking at standings of the Power 5 conferences, division winners and conference winners could be something out of the twilight zone. First, we'll start off with the conferences that are a little bit normal. The SEC. In the East, we have number one Georgia dominating the SEC East. They're 7-0 overall, 5-0 in the conference. I think they're going to win the East win the SEC, and win the national championship. But right behind them, number 15, Kentucky. They're 6-1 overall, 4-1 in the conference. But I predicted Kentucky to finish number two in the SEC East, so I'm not surprised. But number three, Tennessee. I had them finishing at the bottom. They're 4-3 overall, 3-2 in the SEC East. But we still got half of a season to go. In the SEC West, of course, number four, Alabama at the top. 6-1, and 3-1 and in the SEC. Only lost to Texas A&M. Right behind them, number 12, Ole Miss. They're 5-1, and 2-1 and one in the SEC. And then number 19, Auburn. They're 5-2, and 2-1 two, two and one in the SEC. Still a long way to go for the SEC West as well. Now on over to the Pac-12. Pac-12 North. Number 10, Oregon. They're 5-1 and one overall and 2-1 and one in the Pac-12. That seems normal. But right behind them, Oregon State. They're four and two overall, two and one in the Pac-12. Can Oregon State, the Beavers, win the Pac-12 North? Now for the chaotic Pac-12 South. This one, this one is crazy. First we have Utah, who started off the season really, really bad. They're four and two, but undefeated, three and zero oh in the Pac-12. Then Arizona State, they're five and two, three and one in the Pac-12. Just got beat by Utah. And then UCLA, they're also five and two, three and one in the Pac-12 as well. Who knows who's going to win the Pac-12 South? Now let's jump over to the Big Ten, starting with the Big Ten East. In first place we have Michigan. Michigan State, ninth ranked Michigan State. Yeah, they're 7 0, 4 0 in the Big Ten. Right behind them, number six, Michigan. They're 6 0, 3 0 in the Big Ten. Right there with Michigan State and Michigan is number five, Ohio State. They're 5 1, but they're undefeated in the Big Ten, 3 0. And nipping on everybody's heels, number seven, Penn State. They're 5 1, 2 1 in the Big Ten. Did we have a Michigan team win the Big Ten East? Haven't seen that in a long time. Now on over to the Big Ten West. On top, number 11, Iowa. with their 6 1, 3 1 in the Big Ten. Just got beat by Purdue. Right behind them, Minnesota. They're 4-2, 2-1 and two, two and one in the Big Ten. And right there with Minnesota, number 25, Purdue, who just beat Iowa. They're 4-2, 2-1 two, two and one in the Big Ten. Honestly, Purdue controls their own destiny. If they went out, they're winning the Big Ten West. I can honestly say I didn't see that coming. Now let's talk about the Big 12. In first place, this is not unusual. Number 3, Oklahoma. They're 7-0, 4-0 in the Big 12. But in second place, number 8, Oklahoma State. They're undefeated, 6-0 overall. Also 3-0 in the Big 12. This is the team we were expecting last year. We were expecting Oklahoma State to be right up there with Oklahoma. Things fell apart, but it looks like somehow they put it all back together this year and the Cowboys have a chance to win the Big 12. Now time for the irregular ACC. First, the Atlantic. No, I'm not talking about Clemson at all. They're still in this, but I'm not talking about them. In first place, number 16, Wake Forest. They're undefeated 6-0, 4-0 in the ACC. Right with them, number 18, NC State. They're 5-1, but 2-0 in the ACC. They already hold the tiebreaker over Clemson. Wake Forest still has to play Clemson, but NC State holds the tiebreaker. And now for the Coastal. In first place, and I hate saying this, number 23, Pitt. They are 5-1 overall, but they're only lost to Western Michigan, but undefeated in the ACC, 2-0. But you can still eat shit Pitt. Even though there's a gap, second place is still awkward. Virginia, they're 5-2, 3-2 in the ACC. Is the Coastal wrapped up? Is, is it Pitt? Pitt's the winner of the Coastal? Not necessarily, but a lot of things would have to go wrong for Pitt for them to not win the Coastal. We'll see what happens there. So potential winners, ACC Atlantic, Wake Forest, or NC State. Yeah, that's weird. The Coastal, Pitt, is basically going to be Pitt. The Big 12, Oklahoma State could win the Big 12. That's crazy. The Big 10 East, Michigan State, that would be the weirdest winner. The Big 10 West, I would say Purdue out of that bunch would be the weirdest winner in my eyes. For the Pac-12 North, Oregon State, I, I can definitely say I didn't see that coming if the Beavers do end up winning the North. And then the South, Utah comes out of a bad start to be crowned the champions of the Pac-12 South. Might happen. The SEC East is going to be wrapped up by Georgia. We all know that. But then the 
SEC West, could it be Auburn? They do get Alabama at the end of the season at home. If they win out, they're good to go. They're the SEC West champions because for Ole Miss, they lost to Alabama. So Auburn does control their own destiny. So there's you some crazy divisional and conference winners to think about while you go to sleep tonight. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.